What's happening everybody? So Ford just recently announced the FP700 supercharger kit for the F150 with the Coyote 5 liter V8. Now this supercharger kit is impressive to say the least. It includes the 3 liter Whipple supercharger. Uh, that's right, the same 3 liter Whipple supercharger that guys have been running mid 8 second quarter mile times with, along with some other tchotchkes and tuning bobbles that will allow this kit to make 700 horsepower in just this side of 600 foot pounds of torque, all the while being 50 state emissions legal. And if it's installed at a Ford dealership or an ASE certified shop, will also come with a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. I'll let that soak in for just a second. For the cost of a base model F-150, say you went out and bought a single cab short bed for say 40 grand, you got a supercharger kit, which is just the other side of $12,000. Let's just call it 13 for sake of argument. And let's say it costs you another five grand to install it at the dealership. I don't know, but let's just say that that's the case. And remember that it's not just the supercharger kit. It comes with some lowering springs and some other gadgets and gizmos, but you get all of that installed for say five grand. Let's say you're totally into this thing for 18 large. Sounds like a lot of money, but you're walking into this truck now for less than $60,000 or less than what some scat packs cost, what some Mustangs cost, and realistically far and away less than what a TRX or what a Raptor or Raptor R would cost. You're talking about a vehicle that weighs, well, about as much as a Hellcat Charger that would be making basically the same kind of horsepower as a Hellcat Charger. So in essence, you've got yourself a 10 second truck for much less money. And in case you're wondering about maybe the same money as what a regular Mustang that's well equipped or a Scat Pack would go for. And again, all of this would be based on install costs and of course, you know, what you could get the truck for. But just walking around money makes this look like an incredibly good value per dollar. But let me tell you what looks even better. That's Ford Motor Company in general. Ford Racing Performance Parts is doing what Ford Racing Performance Parts and Ford as a manufacturer in general has been stellar at for years. It's a performance company, in other words, uh, FRPP is a performance aftermarket, if you will, through the manufacturers that seems to be run by enthusiasts for enthusiasts in a way that other manufacturers in-house aftermarket cannot even compare and in fact pales in comparison to. Ford has been doing this for a long time though. It should really come as no surprise, although I don't know how many people are asking for a 700 horsepower pickup truck kit, but here we are, but leave it to Ford to do that. I mean, this is, remember, the same company that brought us the supercharged 5.4 liter Lightning back in 1999, followed up with the Terminator Cobra, and then with the big effort that really nobody saw coming with the GT500, Remember the GT500 hit at a time where there were no other 500 horsepower plus 500 foot pounds of torque. We're talking big block numbers here. Cars on the market. The Camaro didn't even exist. And well, neither did the Challenger, much less their supercharged variants. In fact, those variants were only trying to be more GT500 than the GT500, if you will. So should it come as any surprise that a performance enthusiast run company would bring us a hot rod pickup truck. I mean, it's kind of in their DNA and especially in a way again that other manufacturers can't compete with. And this speaks volumes to the soul of Ford and just how alive and well that performance and that enthusiasm is for the American muscle car or muscle truck in this case. Guys, listen, with all the back and forth with other manufacturers dropping their particular muscle cars and other muscle car brands basically going by the wayside or getting reinvented in other new and interesting ways, this is for bringing you the traditional hot rod, if you will. And that's why it is so important that if you're looking for a new vehicle, if you're looking for a new truck or a new car and you are a performance enthusiast, 
This is the type of effort that will catch your attention. This is the type of soul and enthusiasm that will drive you into those dealerships in a way that, well, people can see through the hype. They can see through marketing nonsense and stupid little buzz catches, phrases like, you know, brotherhood of muscle or, you know, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can start to see through these types of gimmicks and where other manufacturers may rely on those types of gimmicks to try to sell their products, Ford is too busy making and innovating with these types of new products and kits for existing vehicles that keep enthusiasts coming back for more. So with that guys, if you haven't had an opportunity to check out that FP700 kit, I suggest that you do. Make sure you're aware of it if you're a Scat Pack, Mustang, Camaro, or even a Hellcat owner. Because if you run across one of them, you might get a great shot of that thing's taillights drifting off over the horizon. And with that, that's a wrap. Adios.